Hey guys, how you doing? It's Asin Stars here and today I'm bringing you my first Infinite Warfare comparison video where today we're going to be looking at which gun is better, the MV4 or the K-Bar 32. <laughs> Alright, so both of these guns are unlocked fairly early into Infinite Warfare, and they're the first two fully auto assault rifles you have, so we're going to be having a look at these guns, seeing which one's better for you to be using. There are five things we're going to be looking at to decide which of these guns are better, and those five things are the damage and the time to kill, the recoil, the iron sights, the magazine size, and the reload speed. After looking at all five of these, we'll tie up the points and see which gun comes out as the winner, so let's get straight into it. The MV4 does 30 damage up close and 23 damage at a distance, which means that it'll kill in 4 shots at close range and 5 shots at long range. When we factor in the rate of fire of 612 rounds per minute, this gives the MV4 a time to kill of 0.294 seconds at close range and 0.392 seconds at a distance. Now looking at the K-Bar 32, this gun actually has 3 damage profiles. It deals 30 damage at close range, 23 damage at its medium range, and then 19 damage at a distance. And this means that it kills on 4, 5, and 6 shots. With this gun's higher fire rate of 731 rounds per minute, this gives the K-Bar a time to kill of 0.246 seconds at close range, and 0.410 seconds at long range. Now comparing the time to kill between these two guns, I'm going to have to give this section to the K-Bar 32, as you can see, the time to kill for the MV4 is about 50 milliseconds longer at close range, and at a distance, it's only about 20 milliseconds quicker. And you also have to remember that the K bar also has a median damage profile, which is going to have a faster time to kill. Alright, now onto the next section, we're going to look at the recoil. Now, as you can see here, I tested the recoil for both of these guns, and I'd say that both of them are actually pretty good. I'd say they're about medium. They can get a little bit bigger once you fire the gun for too long, but you usually shouldn't be dealing with this problem. But as you can see, the MV4 is slightly tighter, so this section is going to have to go to the MV4. Moving on to the iron sights now, I actually really enjoy both of these guns' iron sights. The MV4's iron sights reminds me of like the old school like ACR sort of iron sights. Um, it's actually really easy to use, there's not really anything that obstructs you in any way. But the reason that I'm going to give this one to the K-Bar 32 is because it has that built-in sight that's almost like an ELO, half ELO, half red dot sight. And I mean, it's kind of hard to beat that. You don't really need to use a red dot sight in this gun at all because it's got one already built in. So this category is going to the K-Bar 32. Now, moving on to our second last category, we're going to be looking at the magazine size. Um, as you probably know, the MV4 has the base normal magazine size of 30, which is pretty common in most Call of Duties for most assault rifles. That's like the go-to number. But looking at the K-Bar 32, it actually has 36 bullets. And although it might not seem like that much, an extra 6 bullets is enough to kill someone at any range with this gun. So... It stops you from having to reload if there's like another guy coming around the corner. You can just kill him, whereas the MV4, you'd have to reload. So this category is obviously going to go to the K-Bar 32. And our final category for these comparison videos is the reload speed. Now looking at the MV4, it has a reload speed of 2.03 seconds. And comparing this to the K-Bar, that has a reload speed of 2.57 seconds. So obviously in this part, the MV4 is winning. I don't actually have the stats for the K-Bar for when you're reloading the gun from empty, but I just tested this one in-game, and if you look on screen now, you can actually see that the MV4 reloads quite a bit faster than the K-Bar when both guns are empty, so this category is going to go to the MV4. Now, adding up all these categories with the time to kill and the recoil being worth two points instead of one, we see that the K-Bar comes out with four points, and the MV4 comes out with three points, making the K-Bar our winner for this episode. But as you can see by the point total, this was really close, pretty much as close as it can get, really. And for this reason, I'm actually going to recommend you use both guns. The K-Bar is a really solid gun, and it's actually grown on me quite a bit, especially while making this episode, for its close range damage and its medium range damage, which I think is really competitive, and you should probably be using this most of the time. But if you're playing on a long range map, I'd 100% recommend the MV4. It has that slightly reduced recoil, and it also has the lower time to kill at a distance. So, I mean, I really don't see any reason why you shouldn't be using both of these guns. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Leave me a comment letting me know which of these guns you prefer and which guns you'd like to see next. If you want to see more comparison videos like these, check out my channel. I've got a few others for Modern Warfare Remastered. But anyway, make sure you subscribe so you can check out the other comparison videos I have coming out soon. But anyway, my name is Dustin Size. Stay fresh and I'll see you guys later.